Welcome Pisces to your weekly reading. This is for the 23rd to the 30th of September. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Pisces, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row are your possible challenges, if any. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. Pisces, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with Seven of Pentacles. And we are looking at the possible energy beginning the week. And I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we just want to see now what Seven of Pentacles is for Pisces, please. The Queen of Pentacles. My dear Pisces, as we begin the week of the 23rd, I am seeing somebody come through who is presenting as Queen of Pentacles. This could be a masculine or feminine. It is the energy of Queen of Pentacles I am speaking about. Now this person is a very grounded, wise and mature person. They're usually quite accomplished. They understand how life works on the physical realm and somebody you can rely on and trust. Now, with Seven of Pentacles sitting above our Queen of Pentacles, what I am seeing, my dear Pisces, is that you are considering something with regards to our Queen of Pentacles. It's like you really want to do something with or with regards to our Queen of Pentacles, but you're just not 100% sure, perhaps, how to do it, should you do it, and you're thinking and pondering. Queen of Pentacles, my dear Pisces, could be your boss. And you want to ask your boss for a raise. And of course, it's not the easiest thing to do. So we see you going back and forward. Should I? Shouldn't I? This could be, my dear Pisces, your significant other. And you feel like your relationship has reached the stage where you're ready for the next level. Whether it is to get engaged, buy a home or start a family. And you're quite hesitant to approach your significant other because you're not 100% sure what their reaction will be. Now, my dear Pisces, can you see that little rabbit there? Now, every time a rabbit appears in the tarot, it's a very lucky symbol. And as you can see, that little rabbit is just diving into that grass. He doesn't know where he's heading, but he is not hesitating for a moment. So what we see here, my dear Pisces, is the energy of don't hesitate. You've got nothing to lose. Dive in and see where this takes you. Let us continue now and see what Knight of Wands is all about that is sitting in the area you should focus on. So we want to see now what Knight of Wands is for Pisces, please. And you have got King of Wands. So we've got King and Queen of Wands coming out here. Now Pisces, when we get the Queen and the King of the same suit in the tarot coming through, it speaks to us of a very unique and special connection in our life. It has twin flame soulmate energy around it. And once again, my dear Pisces, this could be a masculine or feminine. It is the energy of King of Wands I am speaking about. So King of Wands could be your significant other. It could be a family member you're very close to, a best friend. This could be a colleague, a boss, or a business partner that you have a wonderful relationship with. What we are seeing here, my dear Pisces, that whomever King of Wands is for you, they are going to be of immense help and assistance to you. They are coming in with something that is going to enable you to work with our Knight of Wands energy. And I feel it has something to do with this situation. 
As you can see, our Knight of Wands is not hesitating for a moment. As a matter of fact, he is galloping into the future. He's got a smile on his face. He's holding up the Wand of Infinite Possibility with a lot of enthusiasm and motivation. And he's not looking back for a moment. So we now know that whoever King of Wands is for you, my dearest Pisces, they are going to come in and they are going to either brainstorm with you, perhaps even role play with you on how to manage the situation with Queen of Pentacles. They're going to give you advice. They're going to be your number one cheerleader as you move forward. So you focus this week, my dear Pisces, on what King of Wands is coming in with. Positive energy to see, my dear Pisces. Now let us see what the Queen of Wands is all about that is sitting in your possible challenges and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we just want to see now what the Queen of Wands energy is for Pisces. The Three of Cups. My dear Pisces, you are presenting in this reading as Queen of Wands. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It is the energy of Queen of Wands I am speaking about. And with Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups coming out, my dearest Pisces, I do not foresee any big challenges coming up for you this week. You are being asked this week to work with Queen of Wands energy and we see the Wand energy coming through very strongly for you. So my dear Pisces, you're being asked to be proactive, to get out there, to ask for what you want, not to hold back. Speak from the heart, speak your truth. And then on the other side, my dear Pisces, Queen of Wands is a great believer in working with spirit. She believes that when she works with spirit, she is able to bring in her manifestations and dreams from the spiritual realm onto the material realm. So you, my dear Pisces, really need to take on board our Queen of Wands energy. What I see for you this week are wonderful outcomes, positive results, getting what you've set out to accomplish. And for many of my Pisces with Three of Cups, there could be reason to get out there and celebrate, calling in the soul tribe and really acknowledging what you have accomplished this week. Now let us see what Eight of Swords is all about that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. So we want to see now what Eight of Swords is for Pisces please. The Eight of Cups. Pisces, this is a very interesting message and it will not resonate with everybody. But it is coming through for my Pisces who might be feeling the Eight of Swords energy in some area of their life. And for many of my Pisces, it could be the area that this Seven of Pentacles is referring to. Feeling as though, my dear Pisces, you're stuck in your present job. You're not growing, you're not expanding, you're not moving. You don't know what to do. Should I leave my job? Should I ask my boss for a promotion? And by staying in the same situation and overthinking it and overanalyzing it, you're getting yourself into Eight of Swords. This could be, my dear Pisces, that you're going through a particularly challenging time, say, with a friend. And things are not right and you don't know what to do. So once again, we see Eight of Swords energy coming in, the overthinking of it. Perhaps they don't want to be friends with me anymore. Perhaps I said something and offended them. And going into this energy of really getting yourself completely stuck and confused. However, my dearest Pisces, Spirit is coming in so beautifully and letting you know that you are going to be able to release this energy if it is relevant to you simply by working with the energies we have seen and spoken about. Once you encompass and work with Queen of Wands energy, 
and you now dive in like that little rabbit, take that chance, confront our Queen of Pentacles, let her know what you want and how you're feeling, my dear Pisces. You're soon going to be leaving the energy of Eight of Swords behind and you're moving onward and upward to a far better situation. A very constructive message coming through from Spirit. Now let us see what the Emperor is all about that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we want to see now what the Emperor is for Pisces, please. And you have the Page of Wands. Pisces, at the end of the week, we see you, my dear Pisces, encapsulating the strength of the Emperor by taking action, by speaking your mind, by working with Queen of Wands energy. By the end of the week, my dearest Pisces, we see you feeling so proud and good about what you have done and what you have accomplished. There's a wonderful energy here of empowerment, being amazed at yourself that you managed to overcome any fear or indecision, move forward, speak to our Queen of Pentacles and get the results you want. And I do feel you're going to get your results because with Page of Wands here, whatever you wanted initially, my dear Pisces, I see you now achieving with Page of Wands. Page of Wands is speaking to us of a wonderful new beginning. A new beginning, my dear Pisces, that you are more than ready for. There's been a lot of build up and preparation for this new beginning, and now it's going to be like just stepping in to a situation, relationship, or position that was meant for you. So we'll just go back to that previous example. If you speak to your boss and approach them and let them know that you're ready for a promotion, I see with Page of Wands that you are going to get what you're asking for and it's not going to be a difficult or frightening transition. It's like you have been preparing for this for months. You're just going to step into your new position, new responsibilities with ease and grace and you're going to get on with it. What a great ending to the week. Right, let us move on now and get a message from your angels for the week. So we just want to see now what Pisces angels would like to share with them, please. And you have got in the near future. Now, my dear Pisces, when your angels come in with a message in the near future, it tells us that this week you will put everything into play and then it'll just be a matter of days or a few weeks before you see all of this unfolding before you. So once again, going back to that previous example, if Queen of Pentacles is your partner and you feel now it is time for you both to take the relationship to the next level and you speak to your partner and let them know how you're feeling, we see it will take a few weeks while you arrange everything and find a suitable apartment or prepare an existing apartment and before long you are living together. You are getting the outcome you want. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I am sending you all so much love.